ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. For those of you visiting my channel for the very first time, I do upload new videos every Wednesday and Friday morning, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the notifications or anything new. Okay, for those of you who are Nordstrom card holders or debit card holders, today is the first day of early access and that means that you are able to shop the Nordstrom anniversary sale. That's where all where brand new arrivals go on sale. It's a very unique sale. It's the biggest sale of the year. I've been talking about it for a while. Um, so for those of you who are in the position where you cannot check out, um, I happen to be in that position myself. All I can tell you is that I've called, I have done a live chat. I've also looked on Twitter. Nordstrom says that they're experiencing difficulties with their website and that the problem will be resolved soon. So I hope, fingers crossed, that by the time this goes up, the issue will be resolved. By the way, if I'm huffing and puffing, it's because I'm excited, obviously, and I'm delirious because I've been up all night, and it's because I'm at 10,000 feet. So <laughs> when you're that high, you huff and puff a lot until your body adjusts to it. So anyway. I wanna talk a little bit about shopping this sale. I've talked about this before in the past, but I think it's worth reminding you because when you go to the website and you start to dive in, it is so incredibly overwhelming. I know because it's overwhelming for me and I basically shop for a living. So if it's overwhelming for me, there is no doubt that it's overwhelming for you. So here's a strategy that I think will help you to stay focused, to really feel less intimidated and less overwhelmed. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the website, you're going to hover over Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, it's highlighted in yellow on the left. Then you're gonna pick a category. So if you know I need to do some back to school shopping, you're gonna click on kids and then you're gonna click on, maybe you have a boy, maybe you have a girl, you're gonna click on boys or girls and then you're gonna click on the size range that you need and then you're gonna click on the, uh, the budget that you're looking at and then take a look and see what you have and then you can take it a step further. Well, I know that I need a really great winter jacket for my son this fall so I'm gonna look and see if they have any great North Face jackets or anything that, that would work. In terms of women's clothes, you, do, you wanna do the same thing except before you dive in, you need to really have a laser focus. And what will help you really achieve that laser focus is taking a look at the wardrobe basic checklist. If you're a blog subscriber, you have already gotten those. If you're a blog subscriber and you haven't gotten those, I will email them to you. Just email me, erin at busbystyle.com. And if you are not a blog subscriber and you would like the wardrobe basic checklist, I'll put a link below in the description box very simple and you can subscribe to the blog. You'll get that newsletter. Um, it comes within an hour, I think, well, maybe less. So what you do once you have the wardrobe basic checklist is you're gonna go through and say, do I have all of these things? And is it something that I like to wear? And does it fit and flatter me? And is it something that I feel good and cute in? If you're missing things there, that's where I would start with a sale. So let's say you're like, ah, oh, I have a pair of skinny jeans, but I've lost 10 pounds and I really wanna you know, freshen up my, my jean wardrobe. So maybe that's the route you go. Let's say you have a great pair of suede booties, but they're so beat up from last winter from the snow and the ice and the slush. So you need something new and you're thinking maybe just regular leather, not suede, because it's better in the snow. Or you wanna do weatherproof booty, boot, or you wanna do weather proof boots or um, snow boots or you know there's any number of things that are gonna be on your list that you're gonna think huh I really could use a new trench coat or a new long sleeve black t-shirt or um, a cami or some underwear or bras or any number of things that could be a hole in your wardrobe from that wardrobe basics checklist so that's how I would start I would really think about what it is that I need what are those basics, starting with the basics, and then go from there. So once you're like, okay, you know what, I have pretty much all my basics, or I'm gonna get this, this, and this, and those are my basics covered, but I know I want some really kind of new, exciting pieces for fall, I would think, okay, do you wanna step up your loungewear game? Do you wanna get some really cool sweatshirts? This year there are a ton of really interesting sweatshirts, and that wasn't something I was expecting, 
I was expecting a lot of cool t-shirts, but instead it's a lot of cool sweatshirts. So maybe you just wanna you know, really elevate that loungewear game and, and so you really just go, you hover over the Nordstrom anniversary sale, then you look at women's clothing, and then you click on sleep and lounge. And what's so great about Nordstrom's website is that you can take it, you can always take it a step further. Like you can pick your category coats and jackets and then you can take it another level and say, well, I wanna look at moto jackets. And then you can take it another level. I wanna look at moto jackets under $200. Um, and then you could take it even one step further and say, I wanna look at moto jackets that are under $100 that are in black. The more laser focused you can get about what it is that you want and need, the easier, the simpler, the faster this sale is going to be for you. Shopping this sale is going to be for you. So that was the first thing I wanted to talk about. Last year, my number two bestseller was the Veronica Beard Dickie Blazer, the one that the Dickie zips out or zips in. And so there was another one in this year's sale. I bought it. I actually think I accidentally bought two. So if they sell out and you want one, I, will, I think I will have an extra one in a size two. So let me know. But anyway, so that was one of the big key things I zeroed in on, I knew I wanted to get. The other thing I knew I wanted to get were those frame split hem jeans. I knew I really wanted to get those jeans. I love that split hem, it's a little bit different. It's not on the side, it's in the front. And um, they just look like really cool jeans, more of that like mom jeans style that I've been talking about being on trend. So I definitely wanted those jeans, that was another big, um, ticket item for me. I didn't at first see the Stuart Weitzman boots on the back of the catalog and one of you guys pointed them out to me. So once I saw them and I saw that it was a low heel and it was a chunky heel, I was like, all right, I gotta have those because those are so functional. Like the other Highland boots I always admired and loved and appreciated, but it was a huge heel and I think a huge heel with a thigh high boot, it's a little bit less versatile and a little bit harder to wear. It can you know, walk that fine line. So this was the lower heel, the chunkier heel, it's a little more casual of a boot. I was definitely like, okay, I need to get those too. So that was the, the, the third thing that I definitely wanted to have. I was looking for some cool t-shirts because last year's number one bestseller was the cross front tee by Social Light and I didn't really find any. None, but I found a ton of sweatshirts, including one from Socialite that's off the shoulder. And I think you could do what, like maybe one shoulder or both off like a, um, a portrait neckline. It's so, it's like such a pretty sweatshirt and it's sexy and it's cool. So um, yeah, it presents an issue with your bra, but you could just wear like a tank underneath and just, you know, layer it up. You don't have to wear it with nothing underneath, with no bra, no tank. You can just layer up underneath, no big deal. I really spend about five hours, five plus hours doing my picks, and you'll see when you visit my website that I literally covered every single category. You name it, I covered it. So <laughs> jackets, coats, weatherproof boots, boots, booties, jewelry, bags, men's, kids, home. There's more, Jewel, uh, I mentioned jewelry, um, undergarments, uh, swim. It's all on the website. I would love to put it all below, you know, like in the description box, but it would take me another probably two hours to do that. So what I'm gonna do is put a link to the blog. I know you guys don't like to click over. Um, I will put some landing page links below for you as a reference, but you really have to kind of click over to see this one and you'll understand when you see it why I can't really put all the links below. It's just too many. So hopefully it's not too much of an inconvenience for you guys to go and visit the website and click over there and just check out the picks. Oh, remember in the catalog picks, I told you I was going to pick up those Argento Vivo earrings. I bought three pairs of them. They're all gold and silver and I think they're all under $25. So I'm excited about that. And what else? Oh, I bought this adorable little Rebecca Minkoff bag in an olive green. It's a bag that's been around for a while, but this version is a mini, and I haven't seen it yet in this olive green, so I really like that olive green color. And I'm gonna save the rest for the haul videos, you know, because that way I can tell you about sizing and fit and fabric and all of the things that roll into it and um, just give you the, the full scoop. And I know there's gonna be some of these things that I order that I'm gonna have to send back, just like there's gonna be some things that you guys order that you're gonna have to send back. So I think I'm gonna wait 
to share the rest of what I bought until I actually physically can see it, have tried it on, and I can speak to, again, the sizing, the fit, the fabric, the silhouette. So. I'm gonna wait to reveal the rest later in haul videos, <laughs> but those are just a few of the key pieces that I picked up. Now, there are a ton of cashmere sweaters. If you need cashmere of any kind, this is the time to get it. So they have a lot of long duster cardigans or long cardigans in cashmere. They have pullovers in cashmere. They have beautiful wraps in cashmere. There's beautiful luscious Vince knits in cashmere. So if you need any cashmere, load up. I hope that you will use me as a resource to make shopping the sale a lot easier. I really have put in the time and the effort and the energy to really find the best things for you guys. So use it, you know? I know you don't like to click over to the website. I know because I can see on my Google Analytics, but in this case, I, it's really difficult for me to put that many links in the description box, so you really kind of have to ping over there. Again, use that wardrobe basics checklist to keep you laser focused on what you need. Basics are the most important parts of your wardrobe. Those are the pieces you need to get first. Number two, use me as a resource. I did a ton of work on this sale. Pop over to the site, see all my picks. It'll make it so much easier. It will narrow it down so much for you. Number three, if you are going to shop it yourself, really think about what it is that you need on that checklist or delineate it by category, delineate it by budget, delineate it by color, you know, really use that filtering system to make it much easier for you to shop. You'll find some good things. I think you will. I really, I well, I think you can tell how excited I am. It's the little things in life. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm delirious. I probably need to go to bed, although I have to edit this first. But anyway, I will have the haul video literally as soon as this stuff comes in. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. You'll be able to see some updates on Instagram at Busby Style there. I also created like a thousand Pinterest boards around the sale. So you can pop over and see my Pinterest boards, Busby Style there. And then on my website, I created shops via category boutique style shops. So if that is a preferred way for you to shop, you can do that as well. So let me know if you have any questions at all. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter so you get the daily updates. And, and thanks guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye.